Hello everyone, welcome to Crafting with Barbara. So my tutorial today is going to be something fun and easy. Um, I have everything um, I'm going to be working with right here with me. Um, what I'm doing is I'm just putting something cute together with things that I already have made. A lot of them I have tutorials on and some I don't, but I will explain what I used and how I did it. <clears throat> this is just something quick and fun, something to do. Um, because I have all these little parts laying around and all these extra things and I don't know what to do with things no more. So I just wanted to do something fun. Just to give me something to do. <coughs> Excuse me. So I have a big ice cream sandwich that I made a while back. Um, I did not make a tutorial on this. But um, all it is is, is foam board. And um, this right here in the middle is just a piece of foam. And then I went over the inside in here with um, just plain white spackle. And then I used the sponge to like make it look like, you know, like the ice cream. And that's all I did with that. And I poked holes in, in here. And then I just painted the foam the color I wanted it. It's not perfect, but I really like it. It was something I did like in the beginning. And then I have um, my little popcorn piece. I had made two of these, which there's a tutorial on where I used some of these parts. But I have had more parts, extra parts. So I'm just going to put things together as I go. Um, I have my ice my snow comb that I made. There's a tutorial on this. Um, I'm going to be using this. Um, I think I'm going to be using my big taco. Um, I got some chocolate. I got some marshmallows that I made. I have an Oreo. I have a rock Lottie Pop that I made. And then I also have these Lottie Pops. Well, these, sorry, these ice creams that I made. Which, there's a tutorial on these big ones that I made. I'm only going to be using one. <clears throat> and then I have this one. And I made a long time ago. I don't have a video on this because it was like when I first started learning how to do. Um, it's just a piece of foam cut into the shape that I wanted it. And then I put the... um popsicle stick and then I cut the foam like it looks like a bite and then that's just um spackle as well white and then the same thing with this one I don't know yet if I'm gonna use both of them but I did the same thing with this one I think they turned out pretty cool so um like I said it's just like putting it together just for something fun so um I'm gonna put I'm going to put this side as my front, I think. I'm going to put this side as my back. So, with the ice cream, I'm just going to glue this down on it. Let me get my little wheel thing. Yeah, that way you guys can see better. Um, so, I think I'm going to just glue this down here. Um, I kind of want to put my taco somewhere. I don't know yet where. And then my snow comb, I think I want to glue it here. And I also have a tutorial on how to make the s'mores. Um, not this s'mores, but my other s'mores, which all you have to do is make it smaller. It's just um, foam board. Um, and then for my popcorn, I definitely have a video on that. That's really fun and easy. So you guys can check that out to see how I made that. Um, I made a whole bunch. I just didn't use all of them. So I'm going to use this one for this. So I was thinking, um, glue this down here. And then I want to glue my snow comb. Like on the side somewhere. Just to make it fun. And then up here, I want to stick my ice creams. So I don't know if I should use this giant one or I should just use my two little ones. Let me turn it this way. See, I don't know if I want to do this. 
and just use these two or if I want to not use both of those and use my really big one and then that one so let's see mm, I have to turn it my way a quick minute. So like I said, I have videos on the popcorn and a couple other things. You guys can go back and check it out. Like I said, uh, this is just a little fun tutorial and see how it looks with everything put here together. See? For some reason, I like my big one, but for some reason, I think it'll look nice if I use the two little ones. Let's see. Let's take this back out. Let's put this in. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, see? Um, my rock candy. Maybe we could put it through here somewhere. And maybe over here. Yeah. See, I'm just putting things together. Like I said, nothing hard. I have already had a lot of these pieces just laying around. I have little like waffle strawberry no it's well I think the snow cone. I want to stick right along the side. So I'm going to put the glue on this instead of I'm just going to stick it along the side. I'm just holding it a couple minutes that way it doesn't go flying off on me. And then I was thinking. I'm gonna glue ah, I hate the glue string I'm gonna hold it down just to make sure that it holds there I'm doing this just because like I said I have a lot of little pieces like everywhere i'm like running out of space um i just don't know so i thought this would be something fun and easy all right i'm gonna i want to glue my my little And I also have um, a tutorial on how I made this little 
dessert taco. That's what you want to call it. I have some pieces of chocolate. My little chocolate pieces um, are made with these um, tumbling tower game from Dollar Tree. I just painted them. These things, if you see them in your dollar store, get them because you can use these for so many things. I love them. All right. I'm going to stick my little chocolates down here. See, just stuck them down there on the bottom. Um, I have, oops, I have a couple marshmallows. I think my little chocolate, circle chocolate I made, and my um, little marshmallow, I think I'm going to stick this one up here as well. I'm going to put some marshmallows down at the bottom. Wait, let me glue this up here. Before I forget, and then I don't put it, and then it goes flying on me. See, I just set that there. I just have so many pieces laying around. I'm getting to a point where I don't know what to do with so much stuff I have. Like my mind's everywhere. I worked hard on a lot of this stuff, so I don't want to just like, you know, get rid of it, throw it away, or get rid of it, or I don't. I just don't. I don't know what to do. I have a tiny little ice cream. It is very tiny. I wonder if I should. I think I'm going to stick it there. It's kind of cute. I think I am. Hold on, guys. Let me get some glue. I think that is so cute. Stick this marshmallow right. All right. So this is basically something like I said that I have all the parts already. If you guys would like to learn how I actually made the ice creams, popsicles back here bitten up. Comment down below and maybe I can make a tutorial on that and show you guys how I did that. Like I said, I have one on the snow comb. I have one on the popcorn, on the s'mores, on my tacos, even my little chocolates. Like if you look through, I have a whole bunch of different ones that um you can probably pick which one you want to learn. So I have a little cherry that I made. And probably stick a little cherry somewhere as well. Maybe I should put the cherry on the snow cone. Nah. Because if you buy a snow cone, it won't have a cherry on it there. <laughs> Oh, I didn't glue my cookie down. Ugh. See, I just 
just glued my little cookie in there right there. And then my Oreo. I think I'm gonna put my Oreo right here. stuck the little Oreo in there and the little strawberry wafer cookie. Like I said, I have this little cherry, but I don't know if I want to stick it somewhere or not. I think kind of looks cute right there. I just stuck it right there in front of the snow cone. I think that looks pretty cool. So, I like it so far. Let me see if I can find something to put here. Because like I said, I have so many pieces and so many things that I'm like, oh. I need to figure out something with everything. Like, I want to make space. I... I just, I don't know what to do no more. Like, I have a gap right here, and I don't like that. Like, a really big gap. So, I'm trying to find something. I have this ice cream. Maybe I could put that there. Yeah. Okay, wait. I got to get rid of the bubbles, guys. Or I can always do this, set this to the side, put this one on here, and we got one. Okay, I think I'm going to stick that right there. Yes, I think I am. I'm just holding it down a couple minutes just to make sure that it glues there and don't fall on me. But I think that looks cute. It's like a fun summer fake bake. I need to color some yellow in right there in the front. I have these little candy worms that I made as well a long time ago and I never used those maybe we can stick a couple of these yep right there okay I need to get some yellow really quick because I have like a little gap right there where it doesn't have like any paint color or anything and that's going to drive me crazy. So I'm going to just get it now. I have a couple little gaps that I do not like. Cause that would have drove me insane okay so I've got another little worm mm. I'm just let me turn it this way Okay, I'm just trying to find somewhere else to stick another little worm, which this one is smaller, so this one might work.
Etsy. Oh my God, this string to the... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna stick this one right here. Right here. And I just stuck that one right there. Just to give it another little something there where it wouldn't be like so much of a gap. I have more cherries, but I think that's fine how it is. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so see what I did? I just put a whole bunch of stuff together. I think it turned out pretty cool. And this is a Lottie Pop. Now, this was made from, you know, the very tiny foam balls that you get at Dollar Tree. I think it brings like, I can't remember if it was four or five, but they was really tiny. I just put a um, straw through it and then I covered it up with um, spackle. Like I colored my spackle with regular paint uh, just a little bit and then I put it on and then I put this, those little shiny um sprinkle thingies that you get at Dollar Tree that they come in like all colors and stuff that they also make a mess um I just put those over the top and then I just put a bag a little bag and tied it up I think those turned out pretty cool I made a couple of those I used a couple of them already on other projects yeah, I sure enough did, but I can't point out which one exactly. I'm telling you, I, I'm like going crazy. I don't know where to put things. I don't know what to do. Like, honestly, I think I, I need to go to some type of, um, I said this before, um, some type of a craft show. Or something just to try to get rid of some of the stuff because I'm telling you I'm I'm starting to get a headache trying to figure out where I'm going to put things I think I'm going to start doing some giveaways honestly and just start giving away you know to my special people you know and people that I see show me a lot of love and support I think I'm just gonna start gifting them because I'm just at a point I don't know what else to do really and I know a lot of you like a lot of my things so I'm gonna have to figure something out because I'm really running out of place of where to put things so I feel like if I take all these little pieces of things that I made and I make something like this or I put it together somehow it makes it easier for me where I don't have a whole bunch of little pieces just laying around and I'm putting it all together into one big thing. So that's why I wanted to do this. So like I said, there's a lot of tutorials on different things that you see here. So if there's something you see here that um, you can't find a tutorial on, then just comment down below and let me know and maybe I can make a tutorial on how I did that and show you step by step to do that. But I think this turned out pretty cool, you know, for something to just put together for fun. I think it is pretty nice. I really think it did come out cool. All right, so we're going to end this here. But you know what? Wait, before we end it, <laughs> I'm telling you guys. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay. I found an extra pretzel I made. I think these turned out really cool. So we can stick this pretzel in here. Yep. We're going to stick this pretzel right in there. I'm, I'm gluing it. That way it just stays all together in one. Oh my 
God, this glue string is annoying. There. I stuck the pretzel right in there. I like it. I feel like I have a gap back here that I just don't like. But I don't have nothing smaller that we can stick in there. I'm telling you guys, I just... I don't know what to do no more. Can you guys give me some ideas on what I can do to make more space on what I can do to... Get rid of some of my stuff. <laughs> Can't tell you I'm going crazy, guys. I really, really am. I just don't like I, the gap I have right here, but I can't think of what else to stick there. So we're just going to leave it as is. That way, I don't mess nothing up. I like it. Just something fun and easy. Something just to, you know, put together to not have so much stuff laying around. I think this worked out perfect. Because just by doing this, I picked up a couple little things, you know. And I like it. I think it looks pretty cool. I also have a tutorial on how I made these little cherries right here. So... Pretty much everything except the two popsicles, I believe, and the little um lottie pop right here. Everything else, I should have a tutorial on. Oh, and the ice cream down here, the ice cream sandwich down here. I don't have one on that. That was something I made like in the beginning when I was learning how to start my fake bakes. So um, we're gonna leave it here. Let me move the glue gun over before I burn myself. I have a bow. I'm just thinking of ideas as I'm going. I'm, so I, I was thinking, should I stick this here? But we're not going to do that. No. We'll just leave it out. I'm not going to keep fighting it. I'm just going to leave it as is. Because honestly, I like the way it turned out. I think it turned out pretty cool. So we're going to leave it here, guys. Um, Please don't forget to like. And please don't forget to subscribe. And also, like I said, if there's something you guys want to learn that you don't find a tutorial on, on my list, um... Comment down below. Let me know what you want to learn. And I can make one on step by step on how I made that. And I hope you guys like this little quick put together. I think it turned out pretty adorable. So, um, and if you guys have any idea on what I can do to get rid of some of my stuff, please comment down below and tell me because I need help. So um, I will see you guys in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye. See you in the next one.